like to welcome you to the future. In 2016, two years after we recorded the original videos for this course, the MathWorks brought out an entirely new way to get MATLAB. In this video, we're going to run MATLAB, but you got to get it to run it. And to get it, you now got two options. One, you can use an installed version like one of these, you know, over here on my computer desktop. Or two, you can use an online version. Option one up here requires that you download an installation package and use it to install MATLAB on your computer. If you are lucky enough to have MATLAB installed on your computer already, as I do, you're in great shape because you don't have to download or install anything. You can get started immediately. If, on the other hand, you do not have an installed version of MATLAB on your computer and you do not have a license to allow you to get one, you are still lucky and you are still in great shape because with option two, the online version, you never have to download or install anything. And the very nice people at MathWorks have decided that just for enrolling in this course, they're going to give you a free 12-week license to use their online version and 250 megabytes of space to store programs. You can find out how to get that online version in the resource section of this course. MathWorks has put in a huge amount of work to make this option available to you, but it should take you only about five minutes of work to get it. So there are two groups of you taking this course. Some of you will be using an installed version of MATLAB, like, you know, these up here. And some of you will be using the online version. So which version are we going to be using in this course? Well, it depends on where we are. I'm not talking about where we are in the world, which for me is the Vanderbilt School of Engineering in Nashville, Tennessee. No, I'm talking about where we are in time. Right now, as I'm recording this video, it's March 2018. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the latest installed and online versions of MATLAB both of which are called R2018A. In fact, you can see the icon for the very latest installed version right up here at the top, R2018A. I'll open that up in a minute, and I'll also open up MATLAB Online and compare the two and give you an introduction to them. Then we're going to get in my time machine, which I've got warmed up and hovering right behind me in the studio. Let me see. Yeah, it's back there. And it's going to take us back to 2014 when we began recording these lectures. And while we're there, you'll see me using the latest version available back then, which has been sitting right here on my computer for four years, waiting for me to use it again, my good old trusty MATLAB R2014B. And look at that. That is exactly how I left it back there in early 2015 when I recorded the last segment of Lesson 8, which you will be watching in Week 9. Thanks, old friend, but you know, right now we're going to let you rest just a little while longer. I don't have the heart to tell it, but except for this little cameo, we're not going to use it at all for any of the new videos. Hey, we're seven releases past it now. Its days are way over. But I do take it out for a spin every once in a while. It still runs great. And you know, this brings me to a very important point about MATLAB. That four-year-old version of MATLAB is almost identical to the model you'll see in the showrooms today. In fact, as you follow along with me and do the exercises that we recorded with it almost four years ago, you might not notice any difference at all. Even if you're using the latest version. Sure, each new version is an improvement. But the MATLAB language stabilized many years ago, so the changes are incremental. And that's a very good thing for three reasons. First, you don't want to write programs in a language that is rapidly changing because the programs you write today might not work tomorrow. Second, if MATLAB were to change significantly, I'd have to record 12 hours of videos all over again. That would make me cranky and crabby. And you wouldn't like me when I'm cranky or crabby. Third, you wonderful people out there who are writing Chinese, Dutch, Korean, Romanian, and Spanish subtitles for us would have to do that all over again. You know what? That's a lot of work, and Akosh and I are very grateful to you for doing that. Hey, wait. 
Nos Français, mes amis. Quelle horreur. Of course, even stable languages can get new features, and when features are added to MATLAB that we think you should know about, we'll add them to the course. In fact, we're adding a few good ones to the videos toward the end of this course this very year. So I've got three versions on my desktop, and you can have as many versions of MATLAB as you want, or can afford, installed at the same time. And if you want to hear your computer's fan run, you can fire them all up at the same time. But they're all backward compatible, meaning that the old code will run in the newer versions, and really there's no reason to have more than one. Unless you are a total MATLAB nerd. Or a totally cool MATLAB instructor, and of course we know which one I am. Oh, is that so? Okay, fine. That's fine. And I assume you know what nerd means, right? Yeah. Naturally Endowed for Research and Development, N-E-R-D. And of course, you know that nerds are the people that make our world such a nice place to live in. You know that find cures for diseases, that launch rockets, provide the internet, invent GPS, a cell phone, and that computer you're looking at right now. You might just thought of something since you're on that computer taking this course, learning MATLAB. You might be a nerd yourself. Well, if you are, then you're a member of a very exclusive society, and you might even be a genius enhanced with engineering know-how. There's an acronym for that, too. But I digress. Let's just double-click this MATLAB 2018A icon and fire this baby up. And we'll have a look at it. That launches MATLAB, and a window opens up to show the MATLAB integrated environment, which is usually referred to simply as the MATLAB environment or as the MATLAB desktop. This desktop is perched on top of your computer's desktop, and that's where you'll type all your MATLAB commands and where MATLAB will show you all your results. When you first open it up after its installation, this Getting Started link shows up here. You can check this out, but we don't need it for this course, and we need all the space we can get in the desktop, so I'm going to click this little X and dismiss it. You can move the window around and reshape it. And I wanted to um, do that to make room from MATLAB Online above it. That's right. The name of the online version is, appropriate enough, MATLAB Online. And it's really pretty slick. To run it, all you need is a MathWorks account and a web browser, and then you can use it on any computer, anywhere, anytime, as often as you want. To run MATLAB Online, I'll just launch a browser. I like Chrome, but since I'm on a Mac, maybe I should use Safari. Hmm. Well, just to show I'm not playing favorites, let's flip a coin. Heads, it's Chrome. Tail, it's Safari. All right. Chrome it is. I'll type in this address, HTTPS colon slash slash matlab dot math works dot com hit return and here we are at the login prompt it's a good idea to bookmark this site I'll do that because you'll be coming back to it a lot I type my login well it's actually already there I guess Google has remembered it. And it's remembered my password, too. Use password for that. And then I come down here. I can just hit return or I can hit login. I think I'll just hit return. And after a few seconds, there it is. MATLAB Online. This is its default layout, but I prefer a different layout, which I can get by going up here and clicking on Layout and then clicking three column. And I want to adjust the uh, window.
you know, so we can see MATLAB online and MATLAB install at the same time. Let's get them just so. There. I want to give them the same amount of space each because I don't want to play favorites here. I don't know which one you've got. There we go. But wait, before we do another thing, you need to get your version of MATLAB going too. You got to do that right now because you need it so you can do everything I do right along with me at the same time. You can't learn by just watching me. You have to do everything I do, pausing me whenever you need to so I don't get ahead of you. It's like yoga class. You won't get any benefit from just watching me do exercises. If you have either MATLAB online or an installed version of MATLAB already, great. If you don't, then you need to stop right now and follow the written instructions that we posted in the resource section of the course website to start your free 12-week license of MATLAB online. And so you won't miss anything. I'll end this video right now and wait until you get set up. When you have your MATLAB desktop open and ready, you can start me back up in the next video and we'll put it to work.